Thomas Lee from Down the Crown Plaza. I'm delighted to be joined by victorious Chris Liddell. Chris, in all six rounds, another action packed six rounds, and you've got the, the scars very short. How are you feeling? I feel I'm feeling good. Uh, just used to it now, I think. Um, never seemed to get an easy fight, but that's boxing. And I was just nice and cold. I don't feel I was probably my best tonight, but I got the win, and that's the most important. So we'll move on. It's becoming a bit of a habit, these uh, stitches in it. Uh, how, how did this one come along? Was it a punch, clash of heads? Um, no, I think it was a punch. Um, to be fair, the boy did catch us with a few and he, he, he could bang. Um, it's probably the hardest, hardest punch I've been in me. Um, so hi, I've got some wounds, but again, just getting that win and the most important minute, getting that W beside your name and we'll go again. Since the first time I met you, was I going to tighten for when you last fought to make your return? But ever since then, it's been like a whirlwind. I feel like every single event, Chris Liddell's in there, and Chris Liddell's in the national pack, six or eight rounder. How's it been for you? Aye, it's, it's been good. Um, I think every fight, I think the next one will not be as tough as that, but I swear to God, we'll just keep getting tougher. Um, I would love the next one to be for something, whether that's Bantamweight, Superfly. Um, I've seen Burroughs out the night. Back out in May, Superfly could could maybe get a wee Scottish title on that. If they were they were up for it. I'm keen to make something like that happen. Just nothing against uh, Burrow, but just another name I see floating about. And that way he's fighting again. I think in May that would be three fights. Or definitely with Sam, I think it's a fight that could be made. So does that maybe something that could put just put out there and see what see what comes up with that? But you know, Superfly ban him. Yeah, listen, I'll, I just want. I would love a title. I keep saying it. I keep saying it, and I keep having hard fights like that. So I think I'm, I think I'm due one now. I think I deserve a, a crack at something. It's, it's a tricky way division you're in because I know from being around the sport for a few years now, it's the kind of division where it can seem like there's no opportunity, and then the next minute you know you're getting the golden opportunity. It's just that waiting, and it's just that waiting period. I know it's just like, before I think it was Arne McGarry who was getting spoke about for a while. And, and then obviously that never happened, and then I came down to Superfly. And, aye, it's just it's just boxing sometimes, isn't it? Names float about and things change. So I've just got to keep myself active, which I've been doing. I've been very active, and, and just hopefully Sam can can get something lined up for us sooner rather than later. When you reflect on the last three performances, because the last three have all been have been hard fought. Hard fought six rounders, and you think you've had an eight rounder in there Aye, as well? Aye, eight against Jamba the last time out. Do you ever think it's maybe time of a wee rest and just get back in it in the summer, or are you going to be back out soon? No, um, so probably going to be back out in June. I think the last few fights it's more or less been a week off, straight back into a camp. Um, this one in June, that just gives me a few weeks just to kind of take my foot off the gas a wee bit and then back into an eight week camp. So I think it's about 12 or 13 weeks away. So to me, that is having a wee break, and then we'll go again. So, no, I think aiming end of June gives me a wee break, recharging, and we'll go again. And see, I mentioned it just a minute ago, the absence you had for the sport. Is, you spoke about it before, you, you've achieved a lot during the night, how you concentrate on your business and stuff like that. Is a part of you that kind of wishes it hadn't been such a lengthy absence, or are you just happy that you're back down it now? No, do you know something? I think if I wouldn't have had that absence, I wouldn't have been the person I'm other day. I've got that older and wiser head, and I kind of I know it's involved, no rising with the training. I know I've got to get 100 percent and stuff like that. So I'm now I look back and I go, I'm glad that I kind of chucked it in a way. Hmm. But I, I think you've always got that bit of regret. But no, I don't. I think I think everything's worked out the way it's kind of meant to be. So I'm I'm glad I've took took that break out, and it's just. I've always got my wee business there and I can fall back on that now and I think everything's I think everything's working out. I just I just need a title for that mantle piece now. Is that what it's all about? It's all about getting a title or see when the title opportunity eventually comes. Is that something you're going to try and use as a springboard or are you just going to be like I've got what I say to achieve? I, I'm not really looking past it and see, see to be truthful honest with you, is a title probably going to change much in terms of the title itself? No. But it's, that's my goal, and I know I will get there. So whether it's that I, I get a title fight and I don't win or whatever, but I'm not, I, I go in every fight and I want to win. So as far as I'm concerned, I just want to get a title, want to win it, and then I know I've, I've achieved that. I'm not really looking past that. I don't look past each fight, but 
but my long term goal was to get this title and surely I'm, I'm chipping my way to it. And it's, I keep saying it, hopefully, next one's in the corner and just need to keep hoping it is, really. Well, Chris, rest up, let, let the battle scars heal, and uh, look forward to seeing you back in June if Perfect. I was. Cheers.